today we are exploring a classic car graveyard completely taken over by nature. Believe it or not, this is a Ford Sierra. Look at this Jag we've just found. Now this is very cool. Now this looks like a Rover P6. Just found a Morris Oxford. Well, Dale, we've just found your van. I cannot believe we have just found this here. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I am joined with Urbex in the Blue Sea and Ian Urbex Lost and Found. And today we are exploring a car graveyard with lots of classic cars. So let's go and check it out and see what we can find. Okay guys, so we are now on this location and the first thing we come across is this old tractor with a number plate which has been made of wood. Now I'm pretty sure that isn't gonna come up on the government website. <laughs> I'm not gonna find any information on there whatsoever. Really nice little tractor. Oh, this wind is not nice though. It is very, very windy today, so I'm sorry about the wind noise. Look at this, we've got another one here. Nuffield. Looks like it was having some work done. God, it's probably been piloted for decades amount of rubbish here okay well I can see quite a lot of cars buried in the brambles down here so let's go and check these out and see what they are I think the other guys have wandered off down in that direction I can't believe the amount of rubbish here it's crazy look at that we've got another tractor here I can't even tell you what that is Lots of molehills. Oh, we've got some nice cars here. Oh, is that a Sierra? Yeah, that's a Sierra. Oh, look at that. G-Rage 1989. Sierra Sapphire. God, look at it, it is completely taken over. Oh, what a shame. Look at the water in the door card. Oh, dearie me. Oh, we've got a Land Rover. And an Escort van as well. Oh, guys, look at this. What a shame. Oh, this is heartbreaking to see. Dearie me. And the old Escort van as well. Fifty-one thousand sixty-six miles. Oh God, it's hardly been used. It's hardly been used, and look at it. This is such a shame. Look, whoever was here last left the bonnet up, and you can see how long that bonnet's been left up for because you couldn't even close it now. Fuel cap completely rotted out the body. Look. It's a shame to see these cars like this. Now there is a house here, but I don't think we're gonna bother with the house today because there's not much left of it. So uh, 
let's go see what other treasures we can find. Okay, well, we were going to head in the other direction first, but we've decided to come and have a look up here because Ian spotted a few cars at the top there, which I didn't see. Like I said, I don't think it's worth going in the house because it looks completely empty, purely just a shell. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything in there whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, look, there's a car there. It looks like another Jag just up there. This is a big place. I think there's going to be a lot of stuff here. <laughs> is there a Saab? Okay, that's a... Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, there's a Maxi as well. Might be able to go up here. Oh, my dad used to have one of these Maxis. In fact, he had a couple of them. Look at the old Saab. Look, there's even more cars through there, but I don't even think we can get to them. 1750. <laughs> oh, it brings back memories, that does. <sighs> okay, well, there's cars in that direction. We know there's a lot down there. We'll have a quick look around here and see. There is. Oh, Ian's just spotted some more. Okay, let's go and check those out first, guys. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so there's another car here. This looks like a Peugeot or Renault 5. I think it's a Peugeot 205. Yes, it is. Oh God, look at that. That is ridiculous. I can't even see the clocks. Peugeot, isn't it? Yeah, 205. Oh my God, look at it. That's unreal. You can't even get a good picture of it. No. Half the car's blooming invisible, literally invisible. There's a few caravans down here, look. That's quite an old one, that one above. Yeah, it is, isn't it? No, it's just this marsh. No. Uh, is there anything at the top? There's cars down there. Yeah, I don't know how to get to those. Oh, this is a big sight. I think what we might do is head back down this way because I know there's a lot of cars in this direction. And um, possibly some tractors, a few other bits. So let's go down this way and see what we can find down there. Okay, so we're just walking down a bit deeper now. The other two have disappeared down there, but before we catch up with those, check out this. How long do you think this has been here for? 77,000, I can't read the rest of it because it's all, it's all got a bit funny, which is a shame. But, what I can tell you is that that has been parked there for decades. Look at it, completely taken over by nature. Oh, what a shame, what a beautiful car. It's a lovely color too. It really is a nice color. And I'll bet that paintwork, a bit of tea cut. <sighs> Such a shame, it really is. Uh, there is quite a lot of um, vans here. There's quite a few parts here, but I don't think we're going to be able to get to them because they are just so overgrown. <laughs> I've got a clue where the others have gone. Oh, they're right down there, look. Ian's down there. Ugh. And we've got a transit there with a little bit of a uh, sign writing on the side, so I won't be able to show you guys that. Uh, what looks like over here is an old train carriage. So have a quick look at that because it's not every day you come across these people used to buy them for obviously storage and you can see that's exactly what that's been used for oh there's two <laughs> there's not much left of that one but look at that a massive pile full of books Lincoln at wall that's pretty cool tunnel through here. Pretty cool though. Side loading door. These are really nice these are. I mean restored. They're probably worth a few quid as well. But sadly I think these ones are long past it. Again there is a lot of stuff in there. Possibly stuff from the house. Some vintage dolls, lots of antiques in there. 
But again, you can see how long it's been left for. Tree growing right up in front of it. <laughs> and look at this, we've got an old vintage butcher's bike here by the look of it. Probably an old Pashley or something. Dearie me. Again, that's probably worth a few quid, you know, it's just sat there, rotting away. The old brook saddle. What a shame. Okay, let's move on. Okay, well, this wind is definitely starting to pick up now. It's not a nice day to be exploring places when you're outside. Look at this. Wow. Okay, there is lots here. There's actually quite a lot of caravans here too. Look at this old tractor. God. What a beautiful old thing. Is there? And a boat as well. Oh, amazing. Three wheeler. Is there actually? Yeah. I've just bought one of those. Yeah, I'll pick it up Sunday. <laughs> oh, God. Again, I'm sorry about this wind noise, guys. This is um, completely out of my control. I'll try my best to um, stay out of it. God, I'm getting them. Um, I don't know, scrap collector's vibes from this place because there's loads of like scrap metal around. Loads of push bikes. Lots and lots of push bikes. <laughs> there's an old Vulcan there. Pretty sure I used to have one of those, the uh, the kids version, when I was growing up. So, the next car we come across is a P-Reg Ford Mondeo from 1997. Look at this. Unbelievable. These are actually starting to disappear. These are actually getting quite rare now. And this is a turbo diesel, which makes it even more rare. <laughs> I remember I used to see these everywhere and they just disappeared, completely disappeared. I always had a bit of a thing for them on though, especially the touring car, the distinctive yellow and blue color theme it had. It was such an iconic car. It sounded amazing, in fact, I know one of my friends and followers who watches my video actually owns one because I met him at the Festival of Speed last year and he actually showed me the car and it was absolutely beautiful. <sighs> I told you. I can't believe it's there, man. Yeah. Honestly, I can't. It's the army truck. That's really? It's kind of and door banging. Three wheeler. Is it Reliant Regal? I can't quite tell from there. I think it is. Supervan Mark III, which is what I've just bought. It is, yeah. Boat's quite cool. Oh, there's the army truck that Ian was talking about. Look at that. Oh, amazing. And it actually looks like this site has kind of started to be cleared out. Which is um, kind of lucky, really, that we've got here before they finish clearing it away. It's nice to document these places just so people can look back and remember what was once there. Look at this. What a thing. I absolutely love things like this. Oh, I don't like these though. Especially these ones, these are horrible. Multiple forms for causing maximum damage. But no worse than what the weather's done to this poor thing. Look at that, completely rotted. Oh, what a shame. This is sad it is sad i mean it's probably been parked here for 50 years judging by the state of that maybe a bit longer god still a very nice thing to look at even now parked up like this there's so many caravans look at this car over here oh my goodness wow it looks as if they were actually repairing the rear brakes on it. But it's been left. It's probably been there for 20 years. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, there's something about a Morris Oxford. I don't know what it is, but I just really do like them. They are just a lovely car to look at. An old Bedford there. Make an ideal camper, that. 
Nice little size, completely full uplet. <laughs> Goodness me. Right, let's uh, see what else we can find. Okay, so we just walked down to the bottom of the site. There's a metro there, which is uh, dying a very slow death, which is a real shame. But what I've come to have a look at is this. Now, I have just purchased one of these. This is a Reliant Regal Super Van Mark III. Obviously, a Dalboy van. And the body doesn't actually look in too bad condition. Wow. This is a real shame. You know, every one of you knows how famous these little vans are and how desirable they are, especially when it's got 36,328 miles on the clock. Oh, honestly. Now the one I've bought has been parked up for quite a long time under a tree, but the tree has actually done it a favor and protected it. This one doesn't look as if it's actually had the nicest of lives. In fact, it actually looks like it's quite damaged by the tree at this end. Ah, oh, this is terrible. It just really upsets me that like this, this could have been saved at one point. You know, the body's never, they've never rushed because they're made of fiberglass. you know if that wheel's still turning or not you might even be able to drag this out who knows potentially it could still be saved but i guess we'll never know i imagine it'll probably just be thrown away <sighs> what a shame right let's move on okay so we've just walked down to have a look at the little fiat panda an old f reg from the 80s guys look at this what a shame. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's probably worth a few quid. Look at that. The dashboard is still there. It looks as if they were actually taking it apart to, I don't know, potentially fix a problem with it. And um, sadly, the problem was never fixed. The car became the problem because now it is absolutely ruined. There's probably still a few bits that could be saved though. Potentially the engine. Maybe the front bumper, I don't know, you know. It breaks my heart, it does, to see these cars just fall apart and get thrown away. I always think, you know, could it be saved? Could you save something? You know, it's just, just upsets me seeing them thrown away, it really does. Okay, well, what have we got round here? We've got a transit. I was just looking over there, I did see a wing, a fiberglass wing, I'm not sure what that's from. Um, we'll have a look down here quickly because I'm pretty sure I saw a few more cars when we were at the top. There's an engine car from somewhere there. Caught that wind. I'm not sure what that's from. Oh! Okay, okay, this looks interesting. Ian's pointing his hands frantically at me. Is that an MR2? That is an MR2. <laughs> oh, look at that. 1989 Toyota MR2 Mark One. Why is that there? Oh my God, that is, that is a shame. That is a real shame to see that there. And again, it's been used for storage. Oh guys, look at that. Ooh, the mileage is quite high, 155,000. God, that has been here for a long time. A very, very long time. Laser line car alarm systems, I remember those. <laughs> oh, God. Unbelievable. I cannot believe we've just found that. Ooh, now that looks interesting. Let's go and have a look at that next. Okay, now I've had to come the long way around because there was no way I was climbing through those nettles. No way on this planet. God, there is so many cars. Ooh, yeah, I don't know what that is. I can't really see from here. And I'll have to walk all the way around here. Look, there's another Mondeo over there. Completely burnt out. It's so random, like where the cars have been parked. Look, there's another one. That's a Ford Orion, I think. I'm sure that's an old Ford Orion. 
again, just burnt out. You know, what is the story behind this place? You look at the amount of scrap around here, it does give off scrap vibes. Like this was like a scrap yard. Joe, I didn't even see that. Oh my God, look at it. It's a shame we burnt out a few of them. Yeah, it is a shame, it's a real shame. <laughs> didn't even see that. God. Now you can see it from this side. Amazing, wow. Oh, look, there's an old Rover P6. Oh. But that's not what I was looking at. Where's the car I was looking at? Oh, it's here. Look, it's buried inside the trees. Pretty much standing right next to it. I couldn't even see it. Oh, my goodness me. This is just... Oh. Look at this poor car. Still got the engine in it. Bonnet's been pulled off. Look at that, there's a huge TV on the driver's seat. Mountainy steering wheel. Looks like it was originally blue. That's interesting. Yeah, you can see the blue paintwork under the red paintwork there. So it's been re-sprayed at some point. Oh, dearie me, what a shame. Very rare colour now, you don't see many of those around. Do you know what? This site has actually blown me away a little bit because. Do you notice that? I'm actually. It's done me, yeah. but I, there's more here than I expected. Yeah, there is, a lot more. There's a few, yeah, we'll give it well, that. There is yeah. also there some is good also stuff here. Yeah, there is, there really is. is. To visit this. Yeah, 100%. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do some pictures, do the Instagram stories, do a TikTok video, and we'll see you on the outro very, very shortly. Oh, look, there's a little bit of Right guys, we are all done. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. I'll always put all the pictures on Facebook. Tell us from Instagram. I will link Ian and I will link Lucy in the description below. And we'll see you on next week's video. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. As you can see, I've just flipped over. So I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs>